What's up guys, Dark Dally here, and today we're doing another GTA Online import-export video. I just got the mission, so we're going to go ahead and go there now. It is the one where your assistant calls you and tells you there's a couple messages she can give you. The one she told me is, it's in, the car is in the hands of some serious little soul gangsters. Which basically means you got to follow that car to the hideout without alerting it. Now there is a small trick to this one. First, it's always, the starting point is always pretty close to your office, no matter which office you have. It's pretty short drive to get there. Now when you follow the car, there's you'll get one of three possible hideouts. There's one over on the west coast in Shumash. That one's easy because it's a nice straight shot all the way there, pretty much. The other one is over east in Mirror Park. And then the third one, which is my least favorite, is the one that's up north in like Vinewood Hills. And you will find out very shortly why I don't like that one, because there's a trick to doing this faster. Okay, so they want you to follow this car without alerting him. So what we're going to do is alert him. And this speeds up the mission immensely. If you just slam into the car, you can now just follow him to wherever you're going. The reason I said I don't like the one up north in Vinewood Hills is because he's in a Karuma, just like I am, and... He's actually pretty quick, and I've almost lost him sometimes in some of those turns. Now, that said, the Kuruma is definitely the car to take. That's why I recommend doing this, because you can sit in here nicely, safe and armored, and once you do get to the hideout, you can just shoot the guys. It makes it pretty easy, depending, again, on which one it is. Sometimes it's kind of a long drive to get there, especially if you do it the way you're supposed to, and just follow him. That said, slamming into his car is okay. Definitely don't accidentally kill him. I did once <laughs> when I started this. I Instead of slamming into him, I figured I would signal him by, sh you know, spraying his car with bullets. And of course, one of the bullets clipped him in the head, and that will fill the mission right there. So that said, it looks like we're going up north. This was really fun to do when it was snowing out. You know, import-export came out right before it started snowing. This was really fun to do in the snow because this guy can't drive for crap. You know, the computer AI, you know, they're always crashing into stuff. And watching him drive, yeah, kind of like that. Watching him drive in the snow was uh, pretty funny. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, I've got one of my friends here with me. He's doing his own thing, so... My friend Wes will probably be in some of these videos with me, especially if I need help. He's definitely better at this than I am. But together we have delivered quite a few cars. So we've helped each other figure out how to do all this stuff. So this part's super, super self-explanatory. Once you get here in the Kuruma, it's just a matter of killing all the guys while trying not to shoot the car. Now, though my friend and I usually play together, we usually do our own thing separate. If you have someone else with you when you start these missions, you have the possibility of getting different missions than you would solo. This is not something, this mission is not one you would need help for. I mention that because one time he decided to help me in a buzzard and accidentally blew up the car. Well, that wasn't his fault, it just happens. You know, it can totally happen. So. This is definitely one of the easier ones. Except that this is also one of the ones that you're going to get followed back to your warehouse with. So, now I got a fast car, so that's cool. It doesn't matter too much. If you get one of the slower cars, especially, you know, or one that doesn't handle well, driving while getting followed from up here in Vinewood can really suck. So that's all there is to this one. You just want to ram the guy, follow him quickly to the hideout, and this particular mission, every single time I've done this, I have gotten pursued by guys shooting me. All right, and from there, you just drive it back and try the best you can to avoid the guys shooting at you. Like I said, they're always going to follow you after you uh, 
do that little soul gangster mission, you're always going to have guys follow you back. Get back as safe as you can to your warehouse. And there you have it. That's the easiest way I know to do that one. It makes it much quicker just to ram the guy and chase him to his hideout. All right, guys. Hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe for more content. My name is Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.